Tijuana Jackson catches up with the cast of Think Like a Man to discuss the science behind their success. Okay, yeah, my name is Tijuana Jackson, ex-convict turned motivational speaker. Hey, man, fellas, congratulations on the movie. I think y'all did a phenomenal job. This is real talk. Look, man, I'm going to start with Terrence. I know you got a busy ounce. Now, look, man, congratulations on the movie. I really believe it's going to be a breakout role for you. And if I'm not mistaken, you. you actually date uh, a woman by the name of Roxy, who's also your co-star on 106 and Park. Am I right? No. No, no you don't. Man, Roxy and I have never dated. No. Is that, is that, am I making this up? Is that not true? You're not in a committed relationship with her? N no. Not at all. Okay. Uh, wanna, no. From my research, y'all actually share a house together in Jersey. I I'm Edgewater ready. to be a, yeah no. no what do you t I have I have people that do research but we've never lived together I've never okay no, did no. you read Steve Harvey's book yeah absolutely yes sir okay well guess what maybe she would live with you if she had to now um, um you messed up my whole thing just get out <laughs> thank you now congratulations on the movies fellas I think y'all did an awesome job I really think this is an outstanding flick the first thing I want to do is go to Jerry I want to ask you Jerry in the in the film you played a long time boyfriend uh, Gabriel Union. Mm -hmm. Now, I remember you was Turtle, the weed-smoking mooch from Entourage. Now, you've slimmed down quite a lot since then. Yeah. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Did you lose this weight when you realized you were playing opposite a woman that was um, out of your league on every level? Uh, it definitely came into play, yeah, sure. Okay. And why do you think they hired two white boys for this movie instead of one? Never mind. So, Michael, uh -huh. look, man. I noticed that you were the first to get laid in the movie. Well, the first amongst the main cast, because Chris Brown tagged Megan's ass while the credits was rolling. But look, what? you doing so many sex scenes with Taraji Henson, did you have a problem with her hygiene? No. No, man. Okay, that sounds about right. All right, and uh, who do you find more eloquently beautiful? I want you to be honest about this. And anyone can chime in, okay? Megan Good or yourself? Megan Good, hands oh, down. Okay, well, I ask you this because, I mean, you're a good-looking fella. You have a beautiful smile. It'd be nice to see you happy in a movie just once. Okay. Oh, by the way, man, can you smile for the camera once? Because I'm trying to get my YouTube uh, views up. I don't really feel like it today. Okay, that's the problem with you right now. Um, anyway, so, um, let's see. Kevin, you, uh, you are hilarious in this film. Thank you. I mean, <clears throat> in the movie, you're playing the happily divorced guy. Now, to me, what's interesting about this is that you know, saying happily divorced is like saying happily parole. Nigga, you're still a convict, you know? And I want to know, can a man actually be happily divorced? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm divorced. I'm happy, so. Are, are you, Kevin? I just said I'm, I just said I'm happy. Okay, I'm, okay, I tell you, you know what, look, Gary Owens not here, so I'm going to ask this, everyone can chime in. He is a very sweaty comedian who is married to a black woman, and he speaks a lot about his relationship. He has two lovely children. I've met his boys, okay? Now, why is it that Gary Owen, who is a white comedian, can stick around and raise his two Negro kids, but the black comedians can't? Kevin? Tijuana, I don't, I don't think that question's appropriate, man. Like, I don't think his race has anything to do with him raising kids, and I don't think the fact that the kids are Negroes has anything. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not happy. I left. I left. Right. I'm still with my kids. I'm raising two beautiful African-American child. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't... I don't know what you say Negroes and him, that it makes no sense to me. I'm well, happy. Well, you, you, you do acknowledge that infidelity is a major issue in the black community, black comedian community particularly. <laughs> Tijuana, you can't single out comedians. Dude. Every, everyone has done something. Infidelity is, is, I'm quite sure when you were in jail, you've, you've committed uh, adults, you you cheated on whoever you were with at that time. Well, look in jail. In, in, the thing about but you have to understand something, okay? Jail is a unique circumstance, okay? Okay. Let me, let me explain something to you. You end up in a situation with an Asian cellmate, and you see how nice and soft his skin is. If you don't lead into the temptations, uh, look. Can we move on? What are you look, saying? Romney's not here to speak for himself. I just want to ask one more question. I, I, actually, I'll go to you because of the fact that you know. Look, um, did did Rom Romney Malco find it difficult to play a heterosexual, or, or, or is it just all the same for y'all? This is ridiculous. Dude. Wow. Um, uh, I, I don't. I don't know what Romney found difficult. Um, what we think he did was an amazing job. If you're here to bash Romney no. and his sexual preference, then maybe you need to find Romney. I, I wasn't bashing. I was just asking if it was difficult. I said, look, you both are Thespians, okay? And you both are obviously a little sweet. I was curious to know if it's difficult <laughs> to what? play opposite. Kevin, Kevin, you had your time, okay? You know what? This, this is this, black people don't promote black people, and that's exactly why black people are why black people are, okay? 
Thank you very much, and congratulations on your fucking movie.